All right, everyone. So now we're going to do deep dives into Tableau sharing products one by one in order to understand their key features and as well their limitations for each one of them. And we start with Tableau Server and Tableau Cloud. As Tableau developers in organizations, we need to share our reports and dashboards with the other colleagues in our organization. So we need to put those dashboards in a trusted environment or platform in our organizations. And we usually have four requirements. The first requirement, it should be safe and secure. We want to control who is accessing our data and dashboard. Second, it should be easy to scale. Third, it should be robust that can handle a huge amount of users and data. And the last requirement, it should be powerful and deliver high performance. No one wants slow dashboards and reports. And now in order to build this trusted environment with these requirements, we have two Tableau products, Tableau Server and Tableau Cloud. And we have three hosting options, on-premises, IaaS and SaaS. Don't worry about the terms, I'm gonna explain them. Tableau Server and Cloud, they are very similar at the user interface level. You will not notice any differences, but if you are checking the backend level, there is a big differences between them. So now first, let's talk about the user interface level of Tableau Server and Tableau Cloud. Once you publish your dashboards to Tableau Server or Cloud, you can share them by providing links to the users across all departments in your organization. And then the users, they can access your dashboard using their web browser without installing any software at their end. And if you give them access, they can start exploring your data. In Tableau Server or Cloud, you can manage your users by adding and removing them, give them specific rules like admin, creators, viewers, or explorer. You can manage your users as well by adding them to groups. Another important task you can do in Tableau Server or Cloud is that you can automate your tasks. For example, you can create a refresh schedule to refresh your data sources on a regular basis like once a day. In Tableau Server and Cloud, you can monitor the tasks and schedules to check the status if the job failed or succeeded. And you can find many other statistics about the runtime, the average queue and error messages and so on. Not only the users can view the dashboards in Tableau Server or Cloud, but also they can create a new one. If you give the users enough rights, they can even start creating their own insights and views directly on their web browser without having them to install any Tableau desktop. It's something we call self-service BI. All right, so that was a quick overview of the Tableau Server and Cloud. And next we will talk about the free option Tableau Public. 